What's up guys, coming at you from 3B's Bar and Grill today. Here to take on their seven pound food challenge. Brisket, pulled pork, fries, cornbread, big beans, unfortunately. <laughs> uh, mashed potatoes, 40 on soda. I don't know how many people have beaten this challenge. Don't know what the record is at all. Darren and George, 17 minutes. 17 minutes, all right. So, 35 minutes to eat this entire thing, or else it's $65. Which nobody wants to pay that. So, you know, no matter how delicious the food is. But we're gonna get in here, check this place out, and we're gonna try to beat this seven pound food challenge. They brought this stuff out, everything looks great. I'm excited to get into this. Uh, 35 minutes. Okay, I'm ready whenever you are. All right, without further ado, the three B's seven pound barbecue challenge. Three, two, one, barbecue. Hey, it's working this time. Nice. <laughs> mm. That's good stuff. Cold pork is good. Remember guys, I have a tiger. <laughs> <laughs> I have a tiger. I Take away the record from the hotel boy. <laughs> <laughs> that means you just gotta do it again. Let's do it. Everybody's delicious. That was big beans. <laughs> They are good. Yeah, they are. Yeah, they have legitimate chunks of pork in it. The brisket is really good too. Let's just try some of that before it gets a little colder. Well, it's still warm. Oh, yeah. It just like falls apart. And you don't the uh, pork. <laughs> it's very fatty biscuit. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's a brisket. Very good. That's good brisket. Random fun fact. My nickname in high school is Brisket Breed. Really? Really? Yeah, I lied. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Can we call you Brisket Breed or not? Sure. <laughs> <laughs> Caroline the Destroyer, Brisket Breed. Caroline the Destroyer, Brisket Breed. Oh my god.
In your pockets? So. <laughs> Check his sauce running out of my shorts. about crinkle cut fries or ruffled chips that they're better than they are. They're good, right? <laughs> Socially distanced. Lights in the way. Hell, now I'm gonna have to put a time on this. Nah, no, we're not. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I didn't use the ketchup. <laughs> I don't like fake beans. Oh, you don't like fake beans? There's something wrong with him. What? He's not American. Because of the He's not American. <laughs> what are you? A terrorist? <laughs> I'm going to live in Canada. That makes me, I said I'm going to go live in Canada, but it makes me not American. <laughs> Big deal with that. That's not a big deal. And they're served just right room temperature. Crazy. Actually, cold. Actually, baked beans are supposed to be served cold. What? Really? Baked beans are actually supposed to be a cold dish. Do you know that? No. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's a game changer. Yeah, baked beans are actually supposed to be served cold. Are you messing? They told you this. No, that's like so that was their original intention. The people bake them. Them. people, huh? That? My grandmother always used to serve them cold. Really? So that's how it used to be. Or is that the story she told you because you'd be like actually hitting your mom? <laughs> My dad just used to open cans out of the pantry and eat it. I'll do that. I love baked beans. <laughs> they are good. He's just farts. What do you mean you have one or two? Another can of that. You know what we should have done? You should have swapped. They should have eaten the beans. You could have eaten the potato. I would have been yeah, down. We would have definitely done that. Let's set this fire. It's good, right? It is good cornbread. He's still eating, but I don't think he has much food left. Get some cornbread. Yeah. I was going to ask him if he liked it. The cornbread is delicious. 
He's enjoying Everything's it. really good. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> all right, Mr. Poole finishing up his soda there, and then he's all done. He still competes. Trophies by four. Twenty-one eleven for Andrew Poole. <clears throat> Pretty good barbecue. Yeah, absolutely for sure. But that seven-pound challenge was excellent. <laughs> I definitely recommend if you're ever in this area, stop and get yourself some of that brisket because it is delicious. Make sure you check his channel out. Link in my description. Eat barbecue, guys. Take it easy. See you next time. If you ever want to buy me some Still Artois, remember to super chat. Darren eats. <laughs> super chat Venmo.